is at nine. This is a picture of the little girl. The 33 News introduces an alleged drunk driver to her victims. I hate myself right now. A mother and daughter dead. Oh, I'm really sorry. We deliver the suspect's apology tonight. The accident happened Saturday night, but the 33 News did speak to a tearful Ilda Verduska who says she is very regretful tonight of what happened. She is now behind bars and charged with two counts of intoxication manslaughter in the deaths of Kena Williams and Carmen Butler. Their friends and family gathered for memorial just about an hour ago. The 33's Don Tongish is here. Now, Don, we understand that they did not want to hear the suspect's message of regret. Amanda, certainly not all of them. Some family members say they are ready to forgive. Others not so quickly for this devastating loss. Those victims were remembered at a vigil tonight. That while the woman accused of taking their lives is owning up to her deadly mistake. The damage is done. I, I killed two people. It's the sobering reality for Hilda Verduzco, who from her jail cell is trying to fathom that she tore a family apart. This is a picture of the little girl. Her name was Carmen. <laughs> Verduzco broke down seeing for the first time a picture of two-year-old Carmen Butler. This is a picture of her mother. Her name was Kina. And her mother, 24-year-old Kena Williams, who was crushed when police say a drunk Verdusco slammed her Mercedes into the family's car Saturday. A crash so violent, mother and daughter died instantly. I cannot stop thinking about the family that I took their kids away from. I took their lives. The mother of three admitted to us she was drinking before heading out to a girl's night out, not thinking those actions could be so devastating. I think they should let me rot in here. I'm just so angry at myself. Verdusco says she deserves the max for taking two innocent lives. She wants no mercy, instead forgiveness, offering this directly to the family she shattered. I just hope you forgive me, and if you don't, you have every right not to. My heart goes out to you. I don't know what exact words would be the appropriate ones. And I don't even think an apology is enough. But I'm really sorry. And even if the Williams family forgives, the law won't. She could face decades behind bars. Verdusco says her story, Amanda, should be a powerful deterrent to those who even think about drinking and driving. It certainly is just hearing her moves a lot of people mm -hmm. to maybe do the right thing. And you know, Don, the Dallas Police Department is trying to also do its own a portion to combat what is drinking and driving. They are adding 14 officers to its DWI enforcement squad for the Home for the Holidays campaign. And we want your feedback to combat drunk driving as well. We're working on a plan called Scared Sober to help in the fight to keep our roads safe from drunk drivers. Share your stories and comments with us at the33tv.com.